This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. One of the biggest drawbacks to wearing a smartwatch is how often you have to take it off to charge it. But here's an idea. How about charging it with a power source that's pretty ubiquitous nowadays, Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi signals are all around us, and most of them are just wasted. Xu Zhang, an electrical engineer at MIT. Writing in the journal Nature, he and his colleagues describe a device called a rectenna designed to capture energy from Wi-Fi signals and turn them into direct current electricity. The rectenna consists of a small gold antenna, about the size of an SD card, which converts a variety of wireless signals, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular LTE, into an AC signal. Next, a three-atom thick layer of molybdenum disulfide converts that AC signal into usable DC electricity. That layer is called a rectifier. Slap it onto the antenna, and the result is the rectenna. The device is flexible, and using typical home Wi-Fi signals, it spits out about 40 microwatts, enough to light up a simple LED display or power a biosensor. It's not enough juice for power-hungry smartwatches and smartphones just yet. But Zhang says their next goal is to build an array of rectennas to power larger devices. The scientists also envision a smart city, where buildings, bridges, and highways are studded with tiny sensors to monitor their structural health, each sensor with its own rectenna, so it never goes dark. We can, in some sense, bring intelligence to almost every object around us, and that can enable ubiquitous sensing. Because a smart city becomes a lot less intelligent when it runs out of juice. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.